Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, your host on Intellect Digest, and in this video, we are going to talk about six reasons why you should not buy a Sony Xperia Z5. While this is a very good phone, and we have covered 16 reasons to buy this phone in a separate video, the links are provided in the description section as well as on your screen here. Do check out the other video as well. But like no phone is perfect, this one is also not perfect, and there are six reasons why you should not buy this phone. Let's get started with this video. Reason number one on my list is the low light camera performance. While this 23 megapixel rear camera is really great in moderate to good lighting conditions, it takes really sharp and crisp images with natural light and very natural output uh, when it comes to color balance. In low light, it tends to get slightly grainy and tend to lose details. It is not as impressive in low light compared to the other flagships that we have seen, for example, the Note 5 or the S6 Edge Plus. Uh, they perform slightly better compared to this one when it comes to low lighting condition. Reason number two to not buy this phone is that it does not have a Quad HD display. While it has its own benefit to not have a Quad HD display, but since most of the devices in this price category offer you that super rich Quad HD, this phone is at full high definition which looks slightly pixelated when you put it next to a Quad HD phone. But if you look at it in isolation, you would not find any sort of troubles and you will find that this display is really one of the best uh, ones in the full HD uh, panels that you find in the market and is among the good ones. But no other phone in this price category, at least Android phones, uh, barring the iPhones, come with a full high definition display. Most of them get a quad HD at this price segment, which is why having a full high definition at this price is kind of a disappointment for us. But on the plus side, having a full high definition panel instead of a Quad HD gives you visible battery improvements. Reason number three, which is again not very intense, is not a deal breaker, is the heating. The heating on this phone becomes evident when you play very heavy titles of games. Running normal apps, taking pictures would not heat up this phone much. It only heats up when you play very heavy games or record 4K videos. It gets around 46, 47 degrees at worst, but it does not cross that 46, 47 zone ever. We have tested with heaviest of titles and we did not cross 46 degrees. So it's somewhere in the gray area. It's not cool. It's not very hot. Besides having a Snapdragon 810 chip, which is known for heating problems. This one has been optimized and does not heat up that bad. Reason number four to not buy an Xperia Z5 is that it does not get major design changes from its previous generation. If you ask me honestly, the Z3, Z4, Z5 all almost look alike if you put them side by side. Uh, if you're not looking at the back panel, which looks different on the Z5, almost all phones look alike and it's very hard to differentiate just by looking at them from a distance of say three four feet it's only when you pick them up and look at the finer details you find that these phones are different so sony is not doing any major changes to aesthetics which may be a problem for some reason number five is also related to changes with respect to the previous generation here specifically i'm talking about the z3 plus or z4 which comes with similar specifications, probably higher specifications when it comes to display or in some areas. This phone is a very minor upgrade when it comes to specs and performance compared to the previous one. Even if, if you look at the benchmark scores and the gaming performance, this is not a major upgrade when it comes to performance. In camera department as well, you get a minor bump from what you get with the Z3 Plus or the Z4. So it is not really worth the upgrade if you already own a Z3 Plus or a Z4. And reason number six, which is not the biggest reason, is that we find that for the specs and features that it offers, the pricing is slightly on the higher side. Had it been five to 10% more affordable compared to what it is selling at, it would have been a more compelling buy at the price at which it is released or retailing is kind of high from the present standards of flagship smartphones that we find in the market compared to the rival brands. But let's not forget that it gives you some features that you would not find on other phones like IP68, water and dust resistant. This is all we have on our reasons to not buy. We have done a separate video on 16 reasons to buy and trust me, the pros list is much larger than the cons list. So do check out the other video as well. 
If you want to buy one for yourself, do check out the links in the description section below where you can pick up one for the best price. Do check out the other video as well. The links are provided in the description section as well as here on your screen. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.